there's different options that you can change at first. You won't have to go through all these settings afterward. Press on the settings button on the top right corner. This window will open. And from here we have a few options that we can select. First is scan settings. It gives you three different options. Auto mode, document mode or photo mode. I suggest and I think most people do not want to change the settings every time they scan something. So the best thing is to simply leave it in auto mode. This way the scanner will decide itself if it's a picture or a document that you're trying to scan. I find that this works really well and I never had any troubles during the few days I have tested the scanner with multiple different documents. Then we have photo enhancements. There are three different options. In my case, I like to keep them off. Why? Because I don't want uh, the software to modify anything on my scan. I want the scan to be true to the document I'm scanning. What I mean by this is if I select auto color enhance, well, if your picture, if it, uh, the software feels that your picture is not very vibrant, well, it will just hype up the saturation. And most of the time, I don't want that. If a picture is faded, well, I would want to keep it this way. But you can switch every single settings of here. It's up to you to turn them on or off. You even have a red eye uh, remove. If you have old pictures where um, people have red eyes because of the flash, turn this off, uh, turn, this, turn this on and you won't have this problem. Then we have customized actions. And we have a series of different actions that will appear after you scan a document. So you will have save, attach to email, send to Google Drive, Dropbox, Evernote, and print. If you're not using uh, these settings, some of them, let's say you don't have an Evernote account, well, just uncheck it. I don't even have a Dropbox account, so I'll uncheck it. This way, once you're done scanning, there will be less option on the screen and it will be easier to navigate. Then you have file name settings. This is every time uh, you scan something, obviously that file needs to have a name. And this way you can decide what the default name is. So if you want, you can, uh, you can write a few letters here. Let's say you want, I don't know, A, B, C, D to start your file. You want your, st your file to start with A, B, C, D. And by the way, you have a small over here example on how it'll look. You can select the date in which order and counter. Do you want to not have 001, 002, 003, or do you want this? It's up to you to, you to select those settings. Then you have save settings. I won't go through these options. I highly suggest you just leave them like this. Then you can press close. By the way, other settings is very unuseful. This only this and, and it's not important. So press close. And then now it's time to put a document on the scan bed. I have this one over here. It's a small brochure. It has a small crease. What you need to do is again place it facing down and align it with this corner over here. So make sure that both corners are touching. Then close the lid. And now it's time to press on the blue scan button. Here we go, we have a nice preview of how it looks. And now from here we can delete this. If we're not happy with the result, we can rotate in case the orientation is wrong. We can crop it if you want to delete some details over here. And we also have stitch images over here. Now it's grayed out, why? Because you need multiple image to stitch them together. This is useful in case you have an oversized document. And let me show you how to do it. So you can keep this over here. You can have multiple documents, by the way, on the left side here, even if they're not related. So for example, I want to scan this very large um, page. I'll remove this and you can scan it bits by bits. So I'll make three different scans. One, two, three, and the software will combine them into one. The important thing to remember is it, they need to have an overlap. So if I'm scanning over here until the bottom of this bear, well, the second scan needs to start at least here. So there's an overlapping portion between these two. And again here, if this stops on the top of this yellow part, the second scan, the third scan, sorry, needs at least to have a portion of 
the middle scan. So the software is able to stitch them. So let me start with the top. I'm putting the document sideways because it's easier in this occasion. Closing the scan lid. And then to add more scans, simply press the blue scan button here with the plus symbol. Now I need to scan the middle part of this document. So I'll go ahead and go in the middle here. We can see, by the way, the preview, it stopped here. So I, I, I need to have at least this portion in this new scan. Let me check. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Great. And now the bottom part, the orientation is not important. I can simply do this to scan the lower part of this document. So once you have finished scanning your document in multiple scans, and by the way, this is uh, three different scans, but it, you can have 10, 20, that's not important. What you need to do is to select them all. Okay, you can do this by keep pressing the right side click and then drag over every um, scan that you want to select. Perfect. And then go and stitch images and select advanced stitching. And as you see here, everything will be combined in one single document. And once you're done, press OK. Press yes, because it, it will delete every single scan and combine them in one single one. So I'll press yes. And here we go. This is how it looks. We can even zoom in and see how well it did, because I don't see any crease, any separation between the scans. So this way you can scan very large posters or stuff that definitely won't fit on any scanner. <laughs> okay, so once you're done, press the next button. And now we're going to save everything that was on the left side over there. So both of the scans. And you have uh, the choice to save it on your computer, attach it to an email, Google Drive, or whatever you have selected on pr the previous settings, or print it. In my case, I simply want to save it, so I'll press Save. And now I can give it a new name if I'm not happy with this. Let's say scan of the day. So both scanned, both this um, truck scan and the poster I just scanned, both will have scan of the day and the first one will be 001 and the other one 0002. Select the file type. These are great for JPEG. You can select PDF or the other ones. And where do you want this to go? Press Say and we're back on the first page. If this was helpful, please take a moment and give a like, comment down below. This is the best way to support my channel. Check the affiliate Amazon links in the description and I'll see you in the next tutorial.